in this video i'm going to be telling you guys the top five books i feel every entrepreneur should read i have personally read these five books and these five books are the books among the many other books that have made the most difference in my life if you are new to this channel be sure to hit the subscribe button on this channel we discuss everything money how to make money online once in a while i review businesses websites and apps so if you have interest in any of those be sure to hit the red subscribe button and the notification bell so that anytime i drop a new video you will be first to be notified all through my primary school and high school i never believed in reading books it was majorly after i left university that i began reading books and my god what i have missed if i had begun reading books in say my first year in university i will be way way ahead of where i am now so between the time i left university and now i have read quite a good number of books and the five i picked in this video are probably the only five books you need to read in the next 10 years these five books can very well shape your life and lead you in the path that will allow you to be the very best you can be in this lifetime so in no particular order i'm going to list the five books the one I'm going to list last, I think that's the least important of them all. But the first four are in no particular order. So the first one is The Millionaire Fastlane by MJ DeMarco. This book is going to tell you how to go about making wealth. Do not think about going to climb the corporate ladder. Well, you might as well do that, but there are faster and better ways to make money. Despite the fact that I am a civil engineer by profession, I am still interested in making money online if you go to this channel you definitely see a lot of videos about how to make money online this book is part of what shaped my decision to go seeking other sources of income aside civil engineering and this book as well also shaped the way i began looking at civil engineering so this book the millionaire first name is one book you definitely want to read the second book you want to read is high performance habits by brendan bushard now this book also comes with a test, a kind of test that if you take, it gives you an idea of how successful you are likely to be based on the way you are living your life now. And when I took this test, oh my god, I realized that I wasn't really going anywhere. And the test is not biased, it's not a way to make you feel down or bad about where you are. Consider the test a wake up call in case you score low. If you score high, then just know that you are very likely to be very successful, except if something goes wrong along the line. This book is a product of a lot of research. The guy studied Fortune 500 CEOs and very successful people. He studied very rich and very successful people, okay, people that built wealth by themselves. And he drew common lines among them. He found out the things that these people do in common. Or should I say, the things that these people have in common. Now, he narrowed those things to just six metrics. If you can score very high in these six metrics on a daily basis, you are very likely to be successful in the future. So when you read this book, keep an eye out on your performance on these six metrics. And then if you can consistently score high on a daily basis, you are well on your way to success. This one is Deep Work by Carl Newport. This book is a must read. In fact, even if you don't read the first two and you read only this one, chances are you you probably will be so good in your field, you will end up very rich anyways. This is a must read. This one is definitely a must read. I never knew how distracted my life was until I read this book. So this is a book you do not want to ignore. You will not realize how distracted you are in the life you are living until you have read this book. You definitely want to live a focused life. And this book helps you see the need for that and how to go about it so you definitely want to read this one the next one is how to win friends and influence people point blank you can never make it in this life alone well if you can then you probably will have to be like them Albert Einstein and the rest of them but most people make it in this life because you can convince or you can influence other people there is absolutely no other way and this book helps you see exactly why that is 100% correct and to influence people you need not criticize them okay if you are still someone that still criticizes people you just need to stop that now because that is going to affect your career the people that end up being ceos or being the ctos of companies are not necessarily the most qualified people there are people that have been able to build strong friendships and relationships or bonds with their bosses and colleagues in the office that matter okay they have built strong relationships with the right people and this book 
tells you how to build strong relationships, not just with the right people, but with every single person. And one thing you want to keep in mind is that you never ever want to criticize anybody. Even if you do not read this book, from today onwards, never criticize people. The attitude of people towards you is going to change dramatically and you get to find out that things will just move easier for you. Okay, Things that would have just on a normal day caused a lot of hassle, you find yourself moving past those things with ease and grace. This is definitely a book you want to read and you want to keep the knowledge you get from this book throughout your entire lifetime. Do not ever forget the content of this book. The last one is The 4 Hour Work Week by Timothy Ferris. A hardworking but lazy man in my opinion. This is a book that is important but in my opinion is just a little bit less important than the first four I have already covered. This book is going to tell you the importance of working smart and not working hard. You need to batch some kind of tasks that are repetitive and um, affect your flow. Now flow is a state that is induced when you do deep work. Remember I mentioned deep work, this, uh, this third book, you definitely want to read this book. So all those tasks that are repetitive, they affect deep work, they affect flow and you want to batch them. These are some of the important things that Timothy Ferris covers in his book. And he covers some lazy man ways of making quite a lot of money in the book. This is a book you want to have the hard copy. You want to read it, you want to try it out. Timothy Ferris is a very smart guy. And the knowledge in this book is, is gold, is absolute gold. So you definitely want to also read this one. Let me know the ones you have read in the comment section below. And let me know the ones you've not read. And let me know the ones you feel that I should read. I would love to get book recommendations from you guys i also released a video after this one telling you guys how i managed to read one book a week every week i'm going to be releasing that video next so if you are sure you don't want to miss that video be sure to um, subscribe to the channel turn the bell notification icon on let me know your thoughts about this video in the comment section i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching